Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Erica Ward and it's not another morning commute exhortation, but definitely an exhortation. It is good to see you. It's been a while. I am so grateful to have the opportunity to be able to speak to you today. Uh, you haven't heard from me in a while and it's because I'm recovering from an injury from work. So I just give God the glory. Um, haven't been doing any morning commute exhortations because I haven't been driving. Um, but I thought about it and I was like, you know, I still got some encouragement inside of me to share and I don't have to be driving to do it. And I know some of my friends out there are happy that I'm not driving while I'm doing it. But I just want to share a little word of encouragement with you. Um, in the midst of what I'm dealing with right now, um, I ended up having some serious problems with sciatica, weakness in my leg, uh, having to use a walker, still in the process of that, doing physical therapy, all of that. Um, don't need to tell all my business, but I'm just encouraging you because sometimes we go through things and we may be, be discouraged because we're not fully where we want to be or we're discouraged because the situation is happening that's interfering with our normal flow and what we're accustomed to being able to do. Um, but the Lord said that he would give us rest. And sometimes, the, you know, there's a scripture that says he'll make you lie down in green pastures. Sometimes that sounds so wonderful, you know, like going out into the green field and just laying out and enjoying the, the wind and the, you know, the, 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 uh, sights of nature. Uh, but sometimes laying you down in green pastures means slowing you down, <laughs> getting you to slow down and actually rest. You know, I shared with my church during our prayer call um, the other day that, you know, God commands rest. He commands us to rest because rest is essential for our human body and our spirit man to be fortified. So rest was something that God did himself. Um, on the seventh day, God who does never get weary, God who doesn't require rest, even he rested. And then he said that he has given us a Sabbath for rest. And most people on Saturday, we're not resting. <laughs> we're ripping and running and doing all kinds of other things, cutting grass, washing cars, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, you know, Sabbath or rest is for a reason. And sometimes, you know, when we won't rest, God will make us lay down in green pastures. And so I say that to say that sometimes when we get afflicted or difficulties rise that cause us to slow down, we may look at it as a negative thing. But the word of God says in all things, give thanks and that we should be rejoicing in all situations, trusting and knowing that our God, first of all, has our back and that this did not catch him by surprise and that he's working it all out for our good. So in the process of going through your light affliction with work, which will work in you a far exceeding an eternal weight of glory, rejoice in the Lord. Don't murmur and complain. Don't be frustrated because uh, the situation that you're in, um, in the situation, there will be some replenishment for you in the situation. There will be some time that you can spend more with God in the situation. You will be able to reflect, slow down, not just be going on instant autopilot uh, like we tend to do in this uh, generation that we're in our microwave society. We want everything right now in the moment and we're going just to make it all happen. And sometimes the Lord is saying, I need you to rest, you know, so he's given us a command every week to have a day of rest. And in the process of that day of rest, we should be communing with him, you know, meditating on his word. That doesn't mean all day long on Saturday, the Sabbath, you're supposed to be on your knees in your prayer room, unless that's what gives you rest. But absolutely, you should be spending some time with God to connect with him in a real personal, intentional way um, on the day of rest, which is Saturday, y'all. And I know many of us worship on Saturday as the Sabbath. Many of us worship on Sunday um, and call it the Christian Sabbath. But nevertheless, the scripture tells us that the Sabbath is the seventh day, which is Saturday, and it should be a day of rest. It should be a day of replenishment. It should be a day of uh, uh, consideration for your walk with God and then doing some things that you enjoy. 
so that you can be replenished, uh, relaxing and not stressing and taxing yourself um, because God knows our frame, that we are but dust. God knows that we need to be replenished. Um, and, you know, when I shared with my um, church family about rest, I was doing a little bit of research on it. And really, our cells are regenerated and renewed when we sleep. So sleep is another layer of rest that we oftentimes tend to neglect. Um, many of you may know, may not know, I'm a registered nurse. And so in the process of us being a go-getting society, you know, we're always going, you know, in the process of all of the going that we do and in all of our getting, the word says get understanding. So I'm sharing this understanding with you today as I am being ministered to myself. <laughs> it's to slow down, slow down so you don't have to get slowed down. How about that? Slow down, smell the roses, take a walk, go on the waterfront. I know we're dealing with COVID right now and I don't want to you know, date this because hopefully this will be a blessing to people. Hopefully once COVID is truly under control, but do some things that you love and that you enjoy that do not stress you, but relax you, whatever that is for you. Um, that's what rest is about, you know, is to do some things that don't stress you mentally, that don't stress you physically, um, but that add to you. You know, for some rest is going to exercise, some some it's swimming, you know, whatever it is, be intentional about obeying God in resting, um, because at some point your body is not going to cooperate with your grind. If you understand what I'm saying, one of my sisters, that's one of her words, I'm on my grind, I'm, you know, getting it in. And that's a good thing. But she also has the wisdom of knowing how to rest. And take care of herself. So the balance is what is so necessary. Um, and so I want to encourage you today that don't don't stress yourself out and make yourself feel like the devil likes to get your mind spinning when you're doing absolutely nothing. There's a season where you need to do nothing. There should be a day or some hours in a day or some hours in the week. I know we work on Saturday, we work on Sunday, etc. But you need to take some time for Sabbath. You need to take some time for rest, which is what Sabbath means. Um, savat, I believe, is the um, Hebrew term. I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Um, but rest. That's what Sabbath is. And God knew that it was required for us. And then he showed us by his own example, even though he did not require rest, he took rest anyway. So listen to that. Sometimes you don't feel like you require rest because you feel great. You know, you're producing, you're getting it in, you're doing what you're doing, but take the time to rest. Your body needs it. Your mind needs it. And your spirit man needs it in order to be refreshed, renewed, and replenished. God bless you. I'm so happy to be able to share this exhortation with you. No, we're not on a commute. I'm sitting in my home, um, but I'm, 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 I'm in recovery myself and I'm learning to rest and learning to allow myself to be in a posture so that I can heal and so that I can be whole because God does have a lot of great things that are in store for me and things that I have to do for the kingdom, you know, so you need to realize that in the process of knowing what you're called to do or trying to find out what you're called to do, that even in that, you should not be in a constant state of stress and anxiety and trying to reach and pull and, and accomplish without taking the time to rest. So my word for you today is to rest. And I say that it is good that I was afflicted because the Lord has caused me to rest and it has been good. It has been good for me. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next exhortation moment or morning commute exhortation. God bless you. Bye.